grandparents, your great great ancestor, your future family members, all of them are taken care of by you. The day of initiation is the day they are liberated. If they are already in in the other world, they'll be escalated into a higher realm of freedom and knowledge. If they are on this planet, they go in to be helped in every feasible way that is possible for this planet. And you yourself enter into sainthood, into a capable, a real person, a real being that we really are, because we are not this body. Know you not that you are the Holy Spirit. Know you not that you are just a temple. This body is just a temple of God, and the Holy Spirit lives within you. We all read this Bible, we all read this scripture, but we do not experience in reality what does that mean that the Holy Spirit dwells within us. And who is that Holy Spirit? Is our self, is our true self, is a part of God's self, is a part of the whole cosmos. And once we know this Holy Spirit, we are free, free forever, free, 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 free forever. Angel of death cannot let clam on our soul anymore. Once we close our eyes, finish with this job in this uh, earthly existence, we're free to fly anywhere. Chosen home in the whole great universe. We chose to where to live, in which heaven, be near our friends, our relatives, you know, in this existence or future or past existence, we could choose to live with them. Or we could choose to live not with them, but go visit them anytime. Just think of them and you are there already. No need to pay for aeroplane, like I have to pay to come here. <laughs> in this world, it's different. In the spirit world, we are free. We are free and we are great. The body doesn't like the suffering, the mind doesn't like the pressure. But that was what the soul wants to experience. He wants to experience pressure so that he can appreciate again the freedom in God consciousness. He wants to choose suffering so that he can enjoy thousandfold again when he enter eternal bliss once more. That's why we are here, so that we know God more, we know ourselves more. Just like we are the king of uh, ancient nation, sometimes the king disguise himself as a commoner and go among the people in order to understand what uh, a true citizenship is like. <laughs> and then when he comes back, he appreciates his position better his comfortable palace, or the servants that serve him, or the power that he has. When he disguises himself as a commoner, he has to undergo all kind of hardship, all kind of ordinariness, just like every one of his subjects. He cannot reveal himself that he's a king. In fact, he must completely cover up his identity so that he can truly, truly merge with the people of his nation and experience what their daily life is like. Similarly, we were once with God, I mean consciously at that time. We have never been away from God, but now we are not consciously remembering that. So we had enough of the suffering of this physical life, we had enough of the mundane, experience, so we get bored, 
we feel there's nothing really here anymore for us to enjoy. We would like to know where we come from, what else is there in this vast universe of God creation that we should experience. When we ask this question, when we wonder like this, this is the time we will experience enlightenment. We're ready. <laughs> We're ready for it. So we came all this time to be a human being, to be different human beings. Sometimes if we have focus on one, one focus point or one human existence and we didn't feel we have enough of physical uh, enjoyment or physical adventure, then we focus on another existence of another human being again. And then we continue further until we get tired. So actually, anyone who is ready can experience God's light, God's unity and enlightenment. That is very simple like that. It's your choice only. You've chosen to forget and now you have chosen to remember. <laughs> so if you think you have chosen now to remember again, then uh, of course I'm here to serve you. Because uh, God has given me permission and uh, ordered me to do that. Uh, maybe one day, after you have remembered everything about yourself, God will also say the same to you. Go, my son, go, my daughter, and do some service to my children or to myself because we have never been separated from God. Remember that. Even if you don't remember, just believe me. We have nowhere to go except inside God's consciousness. We have nowhere else except in God's house right now. Everywhere He encompasses every being in this universe. All the flowers, the sun, the moon, the star, the planets, the galaxies, are all inside God. There is nothing that escapes Godhood. So even if we are not enlightened, we are all right too. There is no hell actually to go to. For a conscious soul, there is no such thing as hell, but just a temporary passing experience that he has to go through in the course of eternity because he has chosen to experience some so-called suffering in order to grow, in order to understand happiness again. Every soul, every little part of God has chosen to walk a different path in order to experience different aspects of God. And the whole experience of all humankind or all beings made up the wholeness of God. Therefore, Jesus say, love thy neighbor, even love thy enemies, because everyone on earth, they have chosen to play that role only. There is no enemy. Just us, just God, different focus points to make love.